Oh my, look at the time. It's already Lego time again. Hello Lego fans and welcome back to another video where I present my mocks. This one, I'm going to present this custom street sweeper. I actually have two on the display at the moment because this one is the original set and this one is my custom. So I took the original set just as a comparison to what I did. So let's begin with the idea. I kind of got the idea from the original set of course and I had to do a vehicle for my mock a uh, corner building for a lego contest and this is what I came up with. So it's kind of similar in uh, design to the original set but uh, it's way different in uh, functionality. Also as you can see I imported the broom idea on the side and the shovel on the other side. I didn't put the tank on the on the rear but yeah it's similar. Now for what uh, I've came up with the chassis is somewhat simple because uh, well it's a uh, some small race car or whatever uh, was this chest is uh, used for and I started there added the this front sweeper part and uh, started building the the rear and of course the cab section but here on the side I have these two deployable uh, vacuum cleaners and of course uh, warning lights on the sides, uh, signal lights on the back and brake lights slash normal lights and of course warning lights on the top. The cab has to lift up because otherwise you can't uh, really reach in there to manipulate the minifig and it had of course you need a steering wheel and I added these two levers like a uh, control thingy for the side sweep, uh, I mean vacuum cleaners. Really enjoyed this, uh, this small detail of these vacuum cleaners and how they can be deployed and then they like fold in and this is a, a Lego hose, I presume it's silicone and they like go in and everything can be packed up. Of course it doesn't have uh, like a big reservoir of water like the original set I'm talking about this thing over here. Oh yeah, uh, excuse me that they are dusty because they were in storage for six years or something like that. Anyhow, for me it's way more playable than the original set because if you take a look, let me bring it back, this thing like always falls off and it doesn't really stay because, like look, I want to vacuum the freaking street and it's like pulling the whole vehicle up with it, this uh, hose thingy isn't very good, so you get the idea. I kinda came up with a better solution for this problem. Let me see if I place these back correctly because one of them fell off. Now they should be in the middle. Like so. And uh, I'm really happy with the with the build and how it looks. Maybe this groove over here is uh, kind of a, a small problem but still nothing uh, nothing great or like this small build doesn't have a part that I'm not satisfied with. Of course there are few small details that should have been done better like uh, this part here and I should have changed these two grey pieces to yellow maybe because at the time they didn't have the 2x2 plate with a stud in the middle 
maybe I should put one of those over here so it's a bit more flush and I don't know maybe on the top here I can improve it but remember uh, this was made in a period when I kind of restarted Legos so I was saying it was like my second or third year since I started buying many original Legos and pieces in bulk and sets to disassemble so I didn't have all the pieces in the right colors and uh, stuff like that but yeah oh and I actually won I think the second or third mansion thingy with that uh, mock it's actually some kind of corner building that had a uh, like in ground part with a uh, subway coming out at one end I'm not sure if I still have images of that one maybe if I have and find images I'll post it at the end of this video anyhow thank you very much for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed comment whatever kind of feedback is always welcome and as always have a nice day and for a free out